the two videos in this topic, we're going over some of the fundamentals of communication. These basics will lay the groundwork so we can look at some of the more complex topics later on, such as how data transmission over the internet occurs. In this second video, we're going to be defining a number of key terms, make sure you can differentiate between baud rate and bit rate, and understand what is meant by bandwidth. So let's start with the first of our key terms, latency. Latency, effectively, is the time delay before some component in a computer system responds to an instruction. Now, typically inside a computer at the sort of speeds we're offering at, we don't see an issue with latency. Everything is happening so fast, it's perceived as happening instantaneously. But imagine, for example, a live satellite uplink via interview. You may have seen this yourself where a reporter or an interviewer is asking a question and the person on the other end of the satellite uplink seems to pause for a while before responding. And of course this is due to latency. It's because the signal from the interviewer is having to be sent almost 22,500 miles up above the Earth to a satellite, beamed down to the destination, and then once the person hearing this responds, the signal has to travel back again. And here is a very visual example of how we can actually see latency in action. Another key concept to get your head around is protocol, which is something we look at in more detail in some of the later videos. So a protocol is nothing more than a set of rules relating to the communication between two devices. And the analogy I like to use is the idea that human beings have a language protocol installed. So for example, I not being very fluent in other languages, have only the English language protocol installed. I can only communicate to someone else who is running the English language protocol. If they're running the German language protocol, I'm unable to communicate. Unless, of course, the person I'm speaking to is bilingual and understands both German and English. They can then switch to the English language protocol and I can talk with them. The concept's exactly the same with computers. Any devices using the same protocol communicate with each other. In terms of computing, the protocol outlines information such as what speed do we need to transmit at, what method are we using, synchronous or asynchronous, what kind of error checking methods are we using, odd or even, and what format is the data being transmitted. As long as all these rules are agreed and adhered to, two devices can communicate. Now let's have a look at bitrate, baud rate and bandwidth. So first of all, bitrate and baud rate. These can often get confused by candidates, so make sure you understand the difference. Bit rates is the number of bits that are transferred between devices in one second. Whereas the baud rate is the number of times a signal in a communications channel changes state. So let's explain what we mean by that a bit more with some examples. Here we see the simplest form of data transmission. It's called baseband. And here, at each signal change, just one bit is being transmitted. So every time the signal changes, just one bit is being transmitted, either at zero or one. And this is because we're just using a one to represent a fixed high voltage and a zero to represent a fixed low voltage. So in this situation, the bit rate is exactly the same as the baud rate. Now we could increase the transmission rate by increasing the baud rate, so increasing how frequently the signal changes state. But the bit rate is still going to be the same as the baud rate. Unless, of course, we now use more than two voltage states and we encode that in more than one single binary one or zero. So in the example you can see here, we've used up to three bits to encode each state change. And of course, as you're aware, with three bits, we can encode up to eight different frequencies from 000 to 111. So now we can see we can have a difference between bit rate and baud rate. The bit rate of a channel is the baud rate, how many times the signal is changing, times the number of bits that are sent each signal. So here we can see the baud rate is 20 because the signal is changing 20 times a second and at each change we're transmitting three bits. 
so 20 times 3 is 60 bits per second. Now typically these days we measure bit rates in megabits or even gigabits per second. The last term to get your head round on this basic section is bandwidth and this is a measure of the maximum capacity of a given communication channel. You can very much think of bandwidth as analogous with a pipe that's transporting water. The wider the pipe, the more water can potentially throw, flow through it. The greater the bandwidth and the greater the volume of data you can transmit. Typically, bandwidth and bitrate have a direct relationship and the term bandwidth is the one that's now more typically used, simply to refer to the overall data transfer rate.